In 1963, Morocco and Algeria, two countries in northwest Africa, fought a short but highly charged border war, the consequences of which have since adversely affected their relations. The origin of their border dispute dates back to over a century to 1830 when France invaded and captured Algiers, ending Ottoman rule. Then in the course of the 19th century and into the 20th century, the French gradually expanded south, east, and west, adding more territory into what would ultimately form the colony of French Algeria. In 1844, war broke out between France and Morocco, and in the treaty that ended the war, the two sides agreed to a partial demarcation of their border. No demarcation was continued further south, as these formed part of the barren, thinly populated Sahara Desert. Instead, France and Morocco agreed that the areas inhabited by those tribes that traditionally recognized Moroccan sovereignty formed part of Morocco, while those that had associated with the former Ottoman rule in Algiers belonged to French Algeria. French expansion deep into the Sahara also brought regions historically associated with Moroccan influence or sovereignty into French Algeria. In the late 1800s, Morocco fell into political decline and by then with European powers carving up the African continent in the scramble for Africa, in 1912 Morocco acquiesced to being made a protectorate of France and Spain. Thereafter, France undertook a number of demarcations of French Algeria in the West. Some of these demarcations were used for administrative purposes and others to establish territorial limits, causing confusion. Also, later maps contradicted earlier maps and sometimes even breached international treaties. Crucially, French authorities established control in the areas of Bechar and Tindouf, which would ultimately be the flashpoint in the border dispute of post-independent Morocco and Algeria. As yet, France did not outright annex these regions into French Algeria, and the border here was loosely defined. However, the discovery of oil and natural gas reserves and iron ore deposits in Tindouf motivated France to more precisely define the region. And in 1952, French authorities integrated Colombeshar and Tindouf into Algeria. In 1956, Morocco regained its independence as a monarchy after successfully negotiating with France and Spain to end their protectorates. And in 1962, Algeria gained its independence following a bloody, bitter seven-year revolution against France. In 1956, during the Algerian War, France had offered to Morocco the territorial transfer of Colomb, Bechar, and Tindouf, but this was rejected by King Hassan, who opted to deal directly with the Algerian nationalists. In 1963, Morocco offered to open border negotiations with now-independent Algeria, with the notion to acquiring regions that had historically recognized the authority of the ancient Moroccan Sultanate but had become part of French Algeria. The Algerian government refused, stating that independent Algeria, a successor state of French Algeria, legally inherited and owned all the territories of the former colony. In effect, the border was non-negotiable. Morocco now prepared for war to reclaim historical Moroccan lands and realize the potential wealth from their natural resources. As well, King Hassan viewed the coming conflict as a means to prop up and even save his hold on power. Morocco was a conservative, right-wing, anti-communist monarchy aligned with France and the Western democracies, while Algeria had embraced a socialist, revolutionary, progressive ideology that was otherwise officially neutral in the ongoing Cold War. The Moroccan monarch viewed Algeria's socialist agenda with hostility, particularly since Morocco's own political opposition, led by two leftist parties, enjoyed broad popular support and many Moroccans looked favorably to leftist Algeria and its socialist policies. King Hassan accused the political opposition of treason and conspiring to overthrow the government as they maintained friendly relations with Algeria with whom they shared a leftist ideology. Furthermore, for King Hassan, the war couldn't have come at a better time. Post-revolution, Algeria was devastated and racked in chaos. A power struggle raged as well as a regional uprising, and economic, public, and social infrastructures were devastated. Morocco mobilized for war and began moving troops to the disputed areas. In the summer of 1963, tensions escalated as both sides traded criticisms and propaganda attacks. 
Morocco accused Algeria of committing acts of aggression, airspace and territorial violations, and expelling Moroccan nationals, while Algeria accused the Moroccan monarch of inciting war, repressing his own people, and denying Algerians their hard-won freedom. As early as July 1962, Moroccan forces entered Algerian Colombeshar and declared it as part of Moroccan territory before withdrawing back to Morocco. In the summer of 1963, after weeks of border skirmishes, on September 25, 1963, major fighting broke out around the towns of Tindouf and Figuig. In early October 1963, Moroccan auxiliary forces crossed from Tagunit and seized Algerian Hasibeida and Tinju, two strategic towns along the road between Colombeshar and Tindouf. On October 8, 1963, an Algerian counterattack recaptured the two towns. But a week later, on October 14, Moroccan army forces attacked again and seized back control of the towns. The Algerians responded by capturing Iq, a small Moroccan border town which had little strategic value but which was meant to be used as a bargaining point in post-war negotiations. By then, the war had begun to internationalize. Foreign intelligence information had detected the presence of hundreds of troops from Egypt and Cuba with their tanks, artillery, and other heavy weapons. By early November 1963, the war had settled into a stalemate. The Moroccan army deployed in regular military formations, used conventional methods, and was well equipped with heavy armor, artillery pieces, and warplanes. Meanwhile, Algerian forces were organized into small guerrilla units and used hit-and-run warfare with mostly light, often obsolete weapons, had only few light tanks, and had no planes, trucks, or jeeps. This disparity allowed Moroccan forces to gain the upper hand in combat. But the arrival of military units from Egypt and Cuba prevented further escalation. Morocco and Algeria also exercised some degree of caution to avert more fighting forced upon them with intense diplomatic pressure by regional organizations. On October 30, 1963, Morocco and Algeria agreed to a ceasefire and the establishment of a demilitarized zone. Both sides then withdrew their forces from captured territories to pre-war positions. Algeria applied for mediation with the Organization of African Unity, particularly invoking the 1964 guideline that stipulated that member countries must respect colonial-era borders. In turn, Morocco appealed to the United Nations, invoking Resolution 1514, which included a clause that the process of decolonization must not infringe on a state's territorial integrity. In January 1964, Morocco and Algeria re-established diplomatic ties following an Arab League-sponsored summit. Then in February 1964, under OAU mediation, Morocco and Algeria signed a peace treaty that reaffirmed existing borders and the restoration of the status quo in exchange for Morocco and Algeria sharing the wealth of a jointly established iron ore industry in the Tindouf region. In 1969, Morocco and Algeria signed the Treaty of Solidarity and Cooperation which led to another agreement in 1970 aimed at establishing a definitive border. Then in June 1972, the Accord of Ifrain was signed which delineated the more than 1,700 kilometers of border between the two countries. The war has had a long-lasting negative impact on Morocco-Algeria relations, with both countries continuing to view the other with deep hostility and distrust. In 1976, tensions rose again that nearly led to war when Morocco occupied the northern section of Western Sahara. In 1994, another crisis prompted Algeria to close the land border with Morocco. And then in August 2021, still another diplomatic row compelled Algeria to cut diplomatic ties with Morocco.